Okay, so we're here today to have a look at the actual coolant saver in action, but we're going to talk about actually what does the coolant saver do and where should we use it. Okay, so we're going to have a look at how the actual coolant savers work in this uh, next video. As you can see from the video here, the coolant saver has been teed off from one of the pumps that's working whilst the machine on. Now this typically, this pump would be the around coolant pump or it could be the bed wash pump. Just one of the pumps that's working while the machine's on. So it's actually, we just take a tee off from the pump and it, the connect, unit is connected at this position. We have a valve activator there and we take a very small amount of coolant through the system. We have a nozzle system here and then we have the outlet hose coming out here and that will always have coolant in it as that's what is actually powering the system and we're actually causing the venturi effect so that flow through there and we're talking less than 0.3 bar so it's taking no effect from the pump that flow through there creates a sideways suction so when the machine is on the machine will always be sucking in this side. And at the end of this hose here, we have a vacuum cup that is sitting in the swarf bin. So whilst the machine's on, that flow is going through and we're creating a suction. So it's always working while the machine is activated. So there's no requirement for anybody to turn this off or on. It is just sitting there happily. We're at the actual vacuum head end of the unit now. As you can see here, we've got a heavy duty vacuum head here with a micro mesh filter in the system here. Now this is the bit that actually sits in the bottom of the swarf bin. As you can see, the suction's pretty good, yeah? Would you agree? And you can see that suction, so you know when the machine is on, we're always creating that suction. Pretty good. So that actually sits in the bottom of the swarf bin. We put a surround around it here just to protect it from pulling it out from the heavy swarf because you really wouldn't be wanting to pull this out of heavy swarf. Where the filter though is fine because the actual swarf acts like a filter in itself. So that could actually sit in the swarf bin. So we're just gonna place that in the bottom of the bin now and you should be able to suddenly see the coolant coming up. As you can see now, look, there it goes. Straight as soon as it's in there, it's working. So as you can see, the system will always be working while the vacuum head is placed in the machine and the machine is on.